Hello, parents and students. Thank you for tuning in this week. My name is Kevin Cordes. I'm the district superintendent, and it is a pleasure to be able to speak with you. Thank you to, to everyone who takes the time or is able to take the time to answer our survey questions every week. And uh, a special thank you to those of you that give us comments. They're very insightful, um, and they do help us um, quite a bit. Uh, I want to speak to some points that were brought up by some parents this week related to getting students back into school and when that might happen. Um, a very long story that I will try to keep short is the rules that we were given to follow in the fall have been recently changed by the governor, and they're still in negotiations with the state legislature. And... Um, I will have more information for you. The school sites will have more information for you regarding how students will be coming back and when that might take place. Um, there is a lot of discussion about um, the plans that we put into motion in the late fall and how much of those plans we are able to um, keep and continue to move forward on and what parts will need to be amended. Um, we have a new president, uh, and he has announced some bold initiatives nationwide for schools that he has. Uh, we also have a, a governor who is proposing some monies for schools to assist in being able to, to help get kids back safely. But we are in the early stages of these discussions. And we, as a school district, as the, the Muroc Joint Unified School District, we like every other school district in California, are waiting for a lot more clarification from the state and actual guidance and decisions to be made um, so that we can move forward. So more to come on that. Um, there's a lot that I could say. I will say that we continue every day to do everything that we can to plan and to move forward to bring students back safely and as quickly as we possibly can. Um, we do still have our very first class that is up and operational. Um, it's a special education class. We've spoken about that in the past. Um, and there are a number of school districts that are doing a variety of different things and bringing different student groups back and that are also needing to um, close some of those schools down or those classrooms down due to the effects of COVID. So um, we're doing the very best that we can, um, and we appreciate the feedback and the guidance that we get from you. Um, another topic I wanted to, to discuss with you this week was related to sports. So um, we've been given some guidance from the governor most recent, uh, in the last few weeks about sports and how students can participate in that. Um, I can see where for some parents, and we, we, we have had at least one that I know of that kind of asked the question um, optically. It looks like, almost looks like prioritizing sports over getting kids back into math class or into English or, you know, into school. Um, and the way this works is they're just two completely different things. Um, sports at this point, the way that we are looking at it, and I think think that really school districts up and down the state are looking at it is primarily it's a mental health um, avenue for students. This is a way to be able to allow some students to get together and get up and move to have some interaction. It is different than a classroom setting. The sports that we're talking about are um, outside sports. These are like, like uh, cross country, for example, and guidance has been given on how we can do that. These are so it's really it's mental health more than anything else. And then it's giving uh, kids also uh, just an opportunity to get up and, and do some movement, um, some physical exercise, which I think we we can all use at any time. Um, and the other thing is that it's not a class. And so this isn't anything that's required. Uh, it's an opportunity for people that would like to take advantage of it, but um, that's that's what it is. And so just like with anything else that we are doing when it comes to students, um, 
first we have plans that are put into place and procedures that need to be followed. And um, by no means is it meant to appear, and it definitely isn't, that we prioritize sports over education. What we prioritize is students' overall health and well-being over anything else. That's their education, that's their physical health, that's their mental health. And for us, and unique to our school district, um, if we compare ourselves to ourselves in previous years, we have had more mental health concerns this year with students than in any other year um, that I'm aware of. And I've been with the school district for almost 20 years. And again, up and down the state, this is a common theme that we are seeing. So it's it's a big effort really to help at least some students interact with each other safely, uh, more so than it is about going out and hanging banners um, in gymnasiums. In fact, um, CIF, which governs sports in California, uh, a couple of days ago just came out and made, um, through the governor's office, announced that there won't even be playoffs or anything like that for the fall sports um, sports season. So it really isn't about that um, as much as it is about just giving kids that are in that age group an opportunity to be together. We know that our first students that um, we plan to bring back, um, just like most school districts, um, are our youngest students and those with uh, exceptional needs. And so when you look at it from that perspective, students like my children, who um, our three youngest are still in public school in the district, they're all in high school, they would be in the latter group to get to come back. So this gives those students an opportunity to um, interact with their peers in a, in a different way. So I hope that kind of clarifies that a little bit. Um, we are looking at the student in a holistic manner and what we can do to, to help families out. Um, there will be more information coming forward, though, related to our opening plans and when more students will be coming back into the classroom setting. And every day, and as um, plans are evolving at the state and federal levels, decisions that are being made that are um, above our pay grades, uh, people that are giving us directions that we have to follow, we will get that information passed to you especially once we feel that we're confident that what we receive is a, a finalized version. Um, where we're at right now is in more of a discussion phase with the state. So rather than get into those details at this point, we'll share facts and what the final outcome is once we have that, and we would expect that to happen in the uh, next few weeks. Thank you for all that you do. We hope that you have a great weekend. Um, and a wonderful week next week. And until we see you, I hope that everyone is doing well. Thank you very much.